41. And now Troy Podmosak finds himself sitting in second place with a 37. So we take another look at Park City, Utah's Alex Hall. Oh, Alex Hall, this is a new one. I have not seen him do this one. Alex Hall has done a lot of the forward double cork nine with the pullback at the end. He always does it to the right. It looks like he's gonna land forward and then he pauses it to switch. This time, taking off switch. So instead of that initial one, this is more technical, gets the safety grab and watch right here. Has to twist the arms open with the hips. Looks like he's gonna land forward and he puts his body down to switch. Incredible, it's a switch 1260 that he turns back into a 1080. You see the reaction there with a 37 again. He was knocking on the door of perfection in the style round with that nine. So a total of 46. He's no stranger to tasting gold in this event. He's taken X Games gold in big air two times in the past. So Alex Hall sitting at the top spot here in round two. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I, I would love to see that trick done just a hair better on the landing. And it's a never been done that's going to score in the 40s. I'll tell you that if he can put it down super clean. All right, we'll take another look here at Daniel Bacher who now finds himself sitting in that number five position here. Oh, Daniel Fokker. Every jump is unique and creative, and that is the name of the game this year. Big push for that with the style element added, and all these athletes have been told that they, told that they judges want to see more style. Look at that takeoff. Do you see how he tapped? He pre he tapped his tails, and it's a double court 10 where he's dipping, looking at the landing so long. This guy's so creative, so playful, so awesome to see him out here at X Games. So with 24, you combine that with his 33, and then that eight from the style round gives him 65 total. So that'll now move him into the number two position. But look at the one point separation between second and third and third and fourth right now. That gives you an idea of the level of competition out here tonight. Troy Podmelsack coming in for run number four. You're currently sitting at eighth. Going to repeat that switch, right side trick, and there! So changes up the grab. Gets the safety grab on that one and able to put the landing gear down. No hand touches, no butt on the ground. Switch right again. Dives off that lift, gets the grab, holding it the whole time. Spinning around to the very last second, the final line. Much better landing, though the grab, I gotta tell you, the other grab was so smooth the way he tweaked it, but the safety, whatever gets his body back into position to land, much better. Okay, so a 36. So that'll jump him up one spot in the standings. He was an eighth pre-run. That moves him up one spot into seventh as of right now. We're just under the seven and a half minute mark left to go here in Pacifico men's ski big air. Taking another look at our current leader. This is Alex Hall. Watch his takeoff. Butters again. Oh, no way, Alex Hall. That was a never been done. That's instead of the switch 1440, he's doing that tail butter, switch to switch. So trying to improve on that 38 he got for the switch left 1440. Never been done, watch this. Spins, takes off on those tails, and then it's right here where he flips over. Normally, he wraps up, you see him looking at the sky, switch 1800 with the tail butter. There's meter all the way up. In case you haven't realized, I, I go all the way up with just about every call because this is so impressive to see these never been dones going down. First tiebreaker goes to whoever has the best or the single highest run score. So that's why you see Mac Forehand in that number two position. Now Sebastian sitting in that number three spot and Daniel sitting in fourth. And now Daniel Bacher's gonna have a chance to answer back here. Oh, so smooth. That's the trick that Alex also scored really well on. He had a lot of speed that time on the switch tail butter. So improving, trying to improve on that 33 you see up there. So any minor improvement on any one of those technical drums, jumps can get you that one more point. They're tied, forehand and, and Sebastian for that second one. But Daniel, really, if he can get up there with a couple more points on the tail butter with amplitude, that is gonna help.
Look at the grab, holds it, comes around. Slug so give him a 38. Go. He's going to jump back in. So he does answer back, puts him back himself back into medal contention. He now sits in a silver medal spot with 70 points. So Sebastian Scher back on the outside looking in, and now your defending gold medalist sitting in a bronze medal position. Time is winding down here. Once the clock expires, we do finish out the run order so everyone gets the same amount of runs. That's your current leader, Alex Hall. Look, look at the scores right 70, 69, 65, 65, all the way down into fifth place. So close at the podium position, except, except for Alex Hall, who's sitting far out and above with a 15-point lead on the rest of the field. Troy Podmilsak sits in eighth place with a total of 43. What's he got for his last attempt? 2160! Oh! Troy Podmilsak! 2160 triple the trick that won him the world championships this past season this is incredible forward triple 2160 the grab he worked so hard on that switch right side trick then brings out the forward right side trick huge set on this one it all came down to this on the final run gets that grab all the way up on the Thayer's meter. Unreal, this is incredible. We've seen Burke Root do the triple 2160 switch, but this, the forward one, when he did it last season, it was the first time it had ever been done. This is its first appearance at X Games. Troy claiming it as he walks away. He had a 36, he's got a seven from the style round. He's gonna end up with a 43 for the first time tonight. He overtakes Alex Hall by one point. Troy Podmilsak on the last run, he went from the bottom to the top just like that. Troy is soaking it all in. He knows now what just happened. Are you kidding me? On the last run, it's your second X Games appearance. He got sixth out here last year in his rookie appearance, his first ever X Games medal, and he's going to walk out of here with a gold in 2024, Tom. Incredible skiing, so strategic, working on that switch right side 1980 so that he could perfect that score. And he only left himself one chance at his other trick, the hardest trick of the night, the forward triple court, 2160. First time done here at X Games Aspen. Style jump for him there with the tail grab on the double court 10. The switch, 1980, finally put it down perfect with the safety grab. And here's that final jump, absolutely clutch to spin the 21, come around perfectly and ski away as champion of X Games Aspen. He was in eighth place. He was at the bottom of the pack. It's the last round. You want to talk about a pressure cooker situation. And he came out and just stomped it. And this place went absolutely nuts. As you see, James Woods handing him his medal. Do you think he even realizes what's happened right now? The enormity of this hasn't set in. Let's send it down to Kristen as soon as everyone stops coming up and congratulating him so she can sneak in for an interview. Troy, in only your second X Games appearance, you had told me that that trick provides fear, that it's scary to do. Where did the confidence come from for you to go out there and execute it? Uh, there is no confidence, really. I just want to win, really. That's all it came down to. I, it's scary. It's the scariest thing I've ever done, but, you know, I do it for the win. Troy, have you thought about the gravity of this moment and what it means to you? No, not at all. I don't even know what's going on right now, really. But I do know there's a funny story. I told my agent last year that I was going to win, so I'm glad I kept my promise and, uh, and won today. So, Congratulations and only his second X Games appearance, his first gold medal here in Aspen, guys. Not only is this his first gold medal, that's his first X Games medal, period. How not, about that? Yeah, not a bad one to get on your first one, but loved the style, loved everything. Huge event. Well, an X Games rookie, Daniel Bocker, takes the bronze. Alex Hall walks out of here with the silver, and it's Troy Podmilsak, his first ever X Games medal, and it just so happens to be Big Air Gold.